Hey guys, Apollo here, and welcome to a Team Fortress 2 commentary. Today I'm going to be talking about the broken spot in Egypt and the pomps and 6,000 for the engineer. I was playing as the engineer using the Jag, the Wrangler, and the pomps and 6,000. Now, the CP Egypt was added a long time ago, and there's this spot right here on the second part of the three part Egypt map on red team defense the fourth point there's this little thing uh, pillar that you can get on by sentry jumping and basically you can put your sentry down there it'll watch all three uh, entrances that they can come out of the, uh, the enemy team and you can just defend and if you have more than one sentry up here then you will be able to defend during the whole match and it's so easy now I had one up here and then some engineer comes up uh, later on and he helps me uh, kind of he builds his entry and he helps me defend it and it is a really good spot but it is really broken if Valve, Valve would have patched it if they don't want people to exploit that area so it's okay for you to use it I guess but you know uh, if you, if you, you might as well because I wanted to just get the gameplay of me playing on it I don't play on the Egypt that, ma but that often but when I do you know I usually play it you know but yeah it's not too difficult to get up to all you have to do is build level 3 sentry, place it down, sentry jump up here get it da uh, get up top on the pillar, place your teleporter then take your sentry, go through the teleporter take your teleporter, get up here, place your dispenser but you know what you should do at the start of the round before everyone's getting prepared you want to like put out your sentry, your dispenser, your teleporter keep shoving them out, running back in, get to the closet, get more 200 points or 200 metal and then keep smacking your stuff, build up your sentry and then build up your other stuff and it it is really easy to take down this sentry nest. It's not difficult at all. Well, it is kind of like if you're like me, I'm kind of looking at the teleporter at all times, sort of, you know, making sure no spies get up here. Our team was doing an okay job at spy checking. I mean, but if they had more than one spy, I mean, you could easily just teleport in and then sap all the sent sap stab the engineer and sap the sentries. You know, it's not too difficult to do, but you know, I, I it. It does. It does happen to me sometimes. You know, it is. It is not perfect. And they can, like soldiers over in the left map there area, the third kind of left area. I keep turning around, but left of where the sentry is looking at, and um, that area there, that can be sp you can spam in rockets, direct hit rockets at the teleporter to stop them from coming up here. So it isn't too non-difficult to to stop them from building up here. But like, if you have a couple of engineers, I mean, it is really great spot to de to defend from as you can see here spies give me a, bit, a little bit of trouble but our team is kind of you know there's snipers down there that are just aiming at nowhere and uh, getting paranoid constantly pulling out their kukri or whatever they have and you know whacking everybody they can see and you know sometimes you do get blown off and sometimes the sentry gets destroyed but you know sometimes you're able to build it up, up again and it's not too difficult to do that but you know this spot just wanted to show it off in a video because it is really broken if if it is broken then valve will fix it but it's not broken because valve didn't fix it but you know if valve wanted to fix it they could they could stop engineers from being up here they could stop any class from being up here and insta die that'd be funny but um some servers actually do restrict people from going up there i remember i tried on one server and i wasn't i wasn't able to build sentries up there so you know that that is another great kind of solution to the problem if there is that problem in the first place but yeah when the wrangler came out then it allowed you to uh, sentry jump and then when you can move your buildings and that just makes it even more easier to do so that's basically how you get up there now we're going to talk about the Palmson 6000 basically it came out in the Australian Christmas update 2011 last year or the two years ago if you count that we're in 2013 sort of but you know kind of two years ago ish and uh, basically the Palmson 6000 is a great weapon to uh, keep you away from spies and medics I mean it is a great weapon but it does annoy a lot of people when you do use it I just threw it on because you know why not I mean it's it's an okay weapon it's, it's decent but you know I, I would probably use the Frontier Justice or the uh, other shotguns whatever Rescue Ranger I'd probably use that probably more than the Palmson 6000 now it's probably my default shock on the rescue ranger but anyways the Palmson 6000 it's great because you know it doesn't require any ammo it has no downsides it's just all upsides it also came out with the eureka effect which it doesn't allow you to make move your buildings but um 
you know, I'm not using that in this video, I'm using the Jag, which allows me to build sentries faster. And, um, you know, the Pompson 6000, it is, it is a good weapon. I mean, you know, when you hit a spy, they will lose 20% of their cloak. So if you get hit by that and you're using your dead ringer then you insta like you know when you feign if you if you oh, let's say a spy is running at you with a knife and he doesn't have his dead ringer out you shoot him with that uh what you call it Thompson 6000 he will lose some of his cloak and then he will unable to pull out his dead ringer because he lost cloak and that would and then you'd get an easy kill because that always happens to me whenever I'm up against the Pompson 6000 engineer. He just shoots you. You can't do anything because you can't pull out your dead ring to escape. All you have to do is hope you can kill him or, like, escape him without not dying, you know? It is difficult, but it is a great weapon to keep spies off you. It does deal with the problem that, uh, what engineers do have, which is spies and medics. The, uh, also good thing about the Pompson 6000 is that when you shoot a medic, it loses 10%. The medic will lose 10% of its medi beam, medi gun charge per hit so you know if you hit like two shots on the medic he loses 20 percent uber instant so if he was ready to pop an uber on your sentry and you just happen to shoot him then he can't pop and then he dies you know so it is a great weapon to keep medics off of you and the protect the projectiles cannot be deflected which is another great bonus so that pyros can't reflect the uh, the shots away from medics or what wherever you're trying to shoot so that is also a great uh, upside to it. It is great for just spy checking, taking off cloak. It does make a sound when you hit a medic or a spy and take the cloak away from them because it just it just does it right. And you can just keep spamming it because it's got a really fast reload, pump action, four shots in the uh, round. It also came out uh, the the kind of Dr. Gorgberg set. It kind of resembles the Reich, Righteous Bison and the Cow Mangler 5000. You know, it is kind of like the same as that, pretty much. Just the same mechanic, red, blue, uh, shooting projectiles. Hopefully we could see more of them in the future, but hopefully kind of people wouldn't really want more of these items to come out. I don't know. It depends which classes it would be for, and it's kind of hard to integrate them into the game. But, you know, it's it's interesting to see the... Uh, Dr. Gordberg's pack stuff. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the gameplay. CP Egypt, top scoring, killing everyone with the uh, no deaths, and that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Don't forget to subscribe for more TF2, and as always, goodbye.